Hey, MCS Jets and anyone else listening, this is my second video. It's still September 9th, 2019. And I'm kind of coming to do another book review, but actually just give you some information about one of my favorite things in the world, lazy. I love being lazy. My son likes to be lazy. He even wrote it in an assignment for his first day of school that he's good at being lazy, which is not a legitimate thing to really be good about, guys, because it's pretty easy to be lazy. Anyway, but what I was reading, um, and actually, let, let me tell you something. There are a lot less books in here than there used to be, and the reason is, is that we had books that were very, very old from the 1990s. Um, and when you have books that old, it's not good for you guys to even read them because a lot of the facts will be wrong. Um, like maybe an endangered species was endangered in 1992, but now it's no longer endangered because there are more on the planet or they've gone extinct. So I can't give you those books like that because I'm not giving you the right information and a librarian has to give you valid information. It's very important. But one of the books I did find was called The Laziest Animals. And um, it spoke to me because, like I said, I like being lazy. So I want to tell you about a few of the animals. Um, this first one we don't want to talk about with Miss Amentha because she is so afraid of snakes. But snake, really quick, don't look, Miss Amentha, if you're watching. Anyway, so it's the grass snake. The grass snake um, is one of the laziest animals on the planet. In early April, when the snake is coming out of hibernation, when it wakes up, in early April, it's been asleep for 150 days. I mean, to me, that's really crazy. Now, when it comes down to the grass snake, that's a fairly common snake. Doesn't hurt anyone. I still don't want to be around it, and Miss Amentha definitely doesn't want to be around it, but it's okay. Like, it's, it's okay. You don't have to be around it, but it's not going to hurt anybody or do any, any harm at all. Um, but from fall to winter, their biggest priority is to stay warm. And of course, I've always talked about hibernation and how a lot of animals, they go into hibernation in the winter. They prepare in the fall and then they go into hibernation for the winter so they can live safely through the winter. They'll sleep, they've already eaten a lot of food, that kind of thing. So I just wanted to tell you about the garden snake. The next animal I wanna tell you about that is one of the laziest is the three-toed sloth. Um, looks pretty cute. Sloths are pretty popular animals. Um, so the tree sloth, they call it the least stressed out animal in the world. It sleeps out of 10 out of 24 hours it's sleeping. And even when it's awake, it's very, it moves very slow, very calmly. Um, so, but when the tree sloth is in danger, instead of running like other animals, it tries to hide. So it'll try to hide in its habitat so it's not attacked. Um, they like to hide in greenish algae, which is perfect for their, for their skin, for her, their fur, and actually the algae grows on their body. That's pretty weird that they have plants growing on their body, but that's how they protect themselves. Animals are very good and have um, traits that help them survive in the wilderness and the tree sloth grows. Weird plant. I don't, I'm glad I don't. Um, one of the laziest animals also, the cow. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Uh, lying in the pasture, uh, the cow chews its cud 10 to 12 hours each day. So that means when it's eating its meal, it's chewing it up for 10 to 12 hours. That's pretty crazy. It does sleep through the night. Um, another lazy animal is the hippopotamus. Now, just like Mrs. Corey, hippos are very easily burned by the sun. And so if they're easily burned by the sun, you can imagine that they don't actually like to spend a lot of the daytime outside on you know, the ground because they're going to easily get sunburned. So a lot of the way that they avoid getting sunburn is to stay submerged in water all day. And then they become more active at night where they won't get burned. Just like Mrs. Gory, because I burn through everything. Um, another one that we probably know about, it's really common is the cat. A lot of us may have pet cats. 
Um, a lot of us may have family members that have pet cats and it does tend, you, you hear, don't be lazy like a cat or you're just lazing around like a cat. That's actually a pretty legitimate way to describe someone that's lazy because a cat sleeps 18 out of 24 hours of the day. Cats also yawn up to 40 times a day. That's a lot for a much smaller animal. I'm wondering how much you yawn a day. Sometimes I don't yawn a lot, and sometimes I seem to be yawning every other minute. Anyway, um, so that's some of the laziest animals I wanted to tell you about. about. I'll be back with other videos soon. Have a good day, Jets.